God, I don't know how I'm gonna tell my father I'm pregnant. Uh, Look, um, he may get a little upset, okay? But, um, think of it this way. It's not like you're some knocked up teenager. You're a grown woman. You're, you're, in, you're in a committed relationship with me. Father, your baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm a grown woman. I mean, having a baby isn't the worst thing in the world. Right? Huh. It's our baby. We're pregnant together. Right. What? Whitney, you're pregnant? TC, don't get crazy now. Whitney, you're pregnant by a crane? Damn it, all the hell. It's the most wonderful time. Oh, that's a marvelous poison, dreadfully lethal, and so good for rats. <laughs> well, you know, not all rats have four legs. I know a two legged rat I'd like to get rid of. Ms. Wallace, hmm? from Alistair Crane. I know this is short notice, but you've been invited to a party tonight at the mansion, Black Tie, and he does expect you to accept. Thank you. Well, of course. Uh, wild horses wouldn't keep me away. Of all the luck. Hmm. Why on earth would Alistair Crane be inviting you to a party? Well, who cares? As long as it gets me in the mansion. Well, so you can get rid of that rat, huh? Hmm? No, 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 oh, um, the Cranes, they own this cafe. This will just give me a chance to get in there and butter up the landlord, you know. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Everything's falling into place, Indora. Whether by Beth's hand or another's. Your grandfather, Alistair Crane, will be poisoned tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to Alistair's party. Whatever he's up to, it can't be good for any of us. Someone should have killed that bastard a long time ago. Everything he's done to this family and this town. I he killed Antonio. That man is evil. May God forgive me. But this world will be a better place with him dead. Yeah. Don't worry, Sheridan. There's nothing he can do to stop our wedding now, OK? Maybe that's it. Maybe Father realizes that he can't stop us in this party to congratulate us. So you really think we should go? Yes, I think we have to. Whatever the old man has planned, we need to be there, and we may be able to stop him. I never knew what hate was till I met Alistair. God. Just think about what he's done to us. Broke us up with lies. Stole Chad from us. Made him grow up in in poverty without a family. Then he encouraged Chad to, to go after Whitney, knowing full well they were half brother and sister. Could you imagine the tragedy if Chad was the father of a baby, not Fox? Anyway, the law is perhaps the saintliest person I know told Luis that God would forgive him if, if he killed Alistair. What do you expect? He killed her son. I mean, I'm a doctor, so I, I took an oath to do no harm. But after what he's done to us, and Whitney, and Chad, to kill him would be like eradicating some disease. That's all I can do not to kill him myself. I just got a letter from Alistair. I'm fired from Crane Industries, and I won't inherit a dime from him. What? Wait a minute, we'll see about that. Now, hold on a second, it gets better. P.S. You're black and you're a bastard, and that's two strikes against you in my book. And, uh, I will never let your kind inherit the Crane legacy. Racist pig. Damn that man to hell. He should be put down like some rabid animal. <laughs> really, oh. Catherine? You couldn't kill me with a gun. Now your weapon of choice is a, a letter opener. What's next? You smother me with a, a fuzzy teddy bear? <laughs> Oh, damn. You can laugh all you want, Alistair. 
But I know what your evil plan is for this party tonight. I heard about the one word that you plan to devastate Luis and Sheridan. What is that one word, Catherine? I will not let you tell them who I am. I will not! You can't stop me from dropping a bomb tonight. Not with that puny little I'll thing. You I'll stop you, Alistair. I won't what? let you hurt Sheridan and Luis. I won't! enough that your mother left to be with Julian Crane? Now you're having a baby with his son. Damn it, that's like pouring salt in my wounds. Daddy, Daddy, please. Everything that I believed in, everything that I wanted is all gone. TC, here, honey. Have a drink. It'll help calm you down. I gotta say, I'm sorry to hear you say that. You know, I, for one, am over the moon about our baby. You know what? I'm sorry, too, Fox. I guess you're a decent enough guy for a crane. It's just that nothing has turned out the way that I planned. Eve is gone. Whitney's not playing tennis. Damn that, Julian. You know, in my father's defense, he's not entirely to blame. Alistair's the one pulling all the strings. Coach, he's the one that made sure all these secrets came out when they did, so they'd hurt everyone the most. That sick bastard. He should die. Die? TC, what do you mean? Wait. Well, at least Chad is not the father. No thanks to Alistair. He's the only one that knew Chad's true identity, and he pushed Chad and Whitney together. He actually loaned Chad money so that he could give Whitney Valentine's Day of her dreams. Alistair encouraged you to have sex with your half-brother? Yes. Yes, he did. That sick bastard. My grandchild. My first and only grandchild will be related to that sick bastard, Alistair Crane. Whitney, what happened? Huh? Why the hell did you use protection? Daddy, we always used protection before. Look, um, we made a mistake. I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry too, baby. I'm sorry, Daddy. Okay. A little girl's going out. Precious, I have a tidbit of information for you. Yes. Now, I trust that whatever we say to each other is entre nous. I wouldn't want this getting all over town. But the fact is that this party at the Cranes tonight is going to be much more of a humdinger than I thought. Precious, look over there. Your employer and a book about poison. <laughs> Isn't that a match made in, dare I say it, heaven? Now, listen. You know that Beth wants to kill Alistair. Because that would make Sheridan and Louise postpone their wedding. Of course. Her mother is going to try and stop her. But we know that Beth is one determined dame. Don't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, what you got there, Mary, in the library? And... Poison? Hey, you keep your lips zipped, or I'm gonna put cyanide in your tapioca. You hear me? Hey. Hmm, an invitation to Alistair Crane's party. Uh-oh. 
Oh, oh. <gasps> Poison? And Alistair Crane's party? Oh, no, Betty, no. You said that if Alistair died, his funeral would to Asher and, and Louise's wedding. No, please, you cannot be thinking about killing Alistair yourself. Please tell me that. Oh, no, of course you're thinking about it. What am I thinking? Oh. oh, no. I think your father's evil has gone on long enough. I don't care what that monster says. Chad deserves his share of the Crane fortune. Well, I agree. Oh, great, great. Now the family of the year is going to stick up for me. Look, I... I no, save it. Because of your racist father, I grew up on the streets, remember? And no one gives you nothing out there. You got to fend for yourself, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, that old man knew Whitney and I were half-brother and sister, and he still pushed me into her bed. What kind of sick twist? You know, I would never have fallen in love with Whitney if I knew we were family. He took everything I deserved, everything I ever wanted. And now he wants to keep my fingers out of the crane vault. Well, let him try, because I'm not going to let him get away with this. Not a chance. He's so angry, he might do anything. Well, it's the crane temper. Should we go after him? He'll calm down. He's only half crane. The good sense he inherited from you will keep him from doing anything rash. I don't think that your father invited us to the Crane Mansion to congratulate us on our upcoming wedding, Sheridan. And not after he bragged to Julian about being able to break us up with just one word. You're right. The man's evil. I mean, Sheridan, think of how many times that he's tried to kill you. You're his own daughter. I, I, you're right, Louise. I, no matter how much I want that man to love me, it's never going to happen. Sheridan. Listen, that's not your fault. That man is evil. He's full of hate. He's incapable of loving anyone. That's right. I know. It's just, you know, it's so hard to accept that your own father's so evil. Well, he is. This world will be a much better place without him in it. You're right. I hate to admit it, but you're right. <laughs> die, you bastard, die. You knew that if Louis found out that Catherine was Sheridan's mother, it would tear them apart. And we can't allow that. Because they deserve their happiness. And you deserve to die! No! Stop it! Leave him alone! Are you all right, Mr. Crane? Damn you, Alistair. Your coach can't save you. <coughs> Just did. No, leave him. Keep him away! Should we take care of him, Mr. Crane? Leave him alone. I want him here tonight. Come on, darling. Let's go. This isn't over, Crane. Not by a long shot. Don't forget my little soiree, black tie. The guests of honor. Finally, I'll get my revenge. What's next? Simone joins a gang? TC, haven't you forgotten something? Congratulate Whitney and Fox. Come on, soon you're gonna be a grandpa. Yeah, I guess you're right. <sighs> Don't mind me, sweetheart. It, this is not what I plan, but if it makes you happy. Thank you, Daddy. Well, we're going to go ahead and go, and um, I'll see you later, OK? Yeah. Oh, uh, are you hungry? I could uh, fix you something to eat. No, thank you, Liz. I, I just want to be left alone. Sure, I understand. I'll, um, I'll go for a walk. Those damn cranes have destroyed my life. Damn you, Alistair. Fox was right. You're responsible for all of this. Pushing Whitney into sleeping with her half-brother. 
play at us all like we're some damn puppets. You should burn. You should burn in hell! You okay? Yeah. Sure. I'll be fine. I just really hate upsetting my father like that, you know? I know. I think he's gonna be okay. I think he just needs a little time. Okay. All right. Listen, um, this may not be the time. I, I, you kind of said something in there that kind of struck me. What? What did I say? I mean, just, you were explaining to your father that we always used protection before, but that we forgot one time. And, and I was just remembering that it was the first time that we, we didn't use protection. And I was just kind of wondering what you meant by before. Oh. Um. All that pain. All that heartache. All those lives ruined. Whitney and Chad. It's Alistair's fault, all of it. He has to be stopped. You're right. And I think I've come up with a way to do it. Oh, oh Mrs. Wheeler, no. We can't, I'm sorry, but we can't talk. If Louise sees us, he'll go ballistic. Listen to me. You can't go to Alistair's party tonight. I, I know that you said that before, but I still don't understand why. Sheridan, this party, it's a trap. Don't willingly walk into this web. Oh, what the hell? How dare that woman try to talk to Sheridan again? Now, Luis, we need no, to talk. No, forget it, Papa. All right, I have nothing to say to you. Now, what the hell is going on here, huh? Why don't you just leave Sheridan alone? Now, what did she say to you? I was warning her, and I'm warning you. Don't go to the Crane Mansion Again? tonight. Huh? I mean, why do you even care? What the hell difference does it make to you whether we go or not? Double cappuccino, please. Double cappuccino? Chad, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. You, you know, uh, how long was I crane, Liz? Well, like, like 10 minutes? Well, as of today, I'm out of the company, out of the family, and that racist Alistair didn't leave me a diamond as well. But other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm a okay. Horrible. Yeah, it all goes back to Alistair. You know, he's the one who threw me out in the streets in the first place. I mean, do you know what it's like to live with hookers and junkies? To see people dead on the streets from putting poison in their arms? <laughs> Thank you for the comfy life, Grandpa. Then I come to Harmony, and what does he do? He pushes me into the arms of my half-sister, Whitney. Damn that man. Yeah, you're right. It always comes back to Alistair. That old man needs killing. How can you stop Alistair, Julian? How? I, I'm gonna keep that to myself until I'm sure it'll work. Yeah, it's time to go to that damn party. Find out what Alistair wants. I'll get the car, bring it around. Why don't you go ahead and I'll meet you at the party? All right. Maybe there's a way I can stop Alistair myself. Alistair is evil. That's why he wants you all at the party, to hurt you. You're the one who hurt us. Clark, please listen to her. None of us should go to this party. Well, you don't tell us anything, all right? You lost that right when you walked out on us. Come on, let's go get ready for our big night out. Oh my God, I failed. 
Now Alistair is going to tell her I'm her mother, and it's going to ruin her life. Now, if we can't stop them from going to the party, maybe we can figure a way to stop him. We've got to stop him, Martin. I don't know, maybe, maybe if I got a chance to talk to Louise and, and Sheridan before and tell them what really happened to us before Alistair tells it his way. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to freshen up before we go. Good, okay. You know, I, I, I'm going to get some coffee. You know, I, I could use one. What are you doing here? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Oh, I just had to come and return one of my mother's prescriptions. They gave her laxative pills instead of sleeping pills. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> At her age, you never know. A drug could have killed her. Oh, I got an invitation, too. Do you know what's going on? No idea. We should get going, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I think I'm going to um, go to the nurse and check on the baby and Teresa again. Great. You know what? I, I'm gonna go leave a message for Gwen for when she wakes up. Yeah, and I'm gonna go to the gift shop. Maybe they have a nice plant for Teresa. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Tina. Excellent. Except for one final touch. Yes, Mr. Crane. Take this down to the vault. I want that mirror replaced with this painting. And while you're at it, now would be a good time to make that phone call we discussed. Well, too. Mm. They'll all come like flies to honey. And tonight, I'll rock harmony to its core. You have hurt everyone that I love. And it all stops. It all stops tonight. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I, um, when I said that we use protection every other time before, I just misspoke. I mean, I didn't know what I was saying in there. I meant what you said. I mean, that we use right. protection. Right. No, it's okay. I'm, well, I'm sorry. Fine. Sorry about that. Just a question. It's okay. Let's go somewhere. You want to go out? <laughs> One second. Hello? Yes? No? What? Oh, really? Well, then you do me a favor. You tell him that I said this isn't over. Do you understand me? Hello? Hello? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, wait. What's wrong? My grandfather just cut me out of his will. He cut me out of his will, which means when he dies, I get nothing. And he couldn't tell me in person he had somebody call me on a cell phone? You gotta be kidding me after how hard you've worked for him. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I, th I thought my grandfather would be the one to reinstate me at Crane Industries. Woody, I'm a crane for God's sake. I'm the only legitimate heir. That whole thing is mine. And you know something? Just when I think Alistair couldn't sink any lower, he well, does something he's like the this. the devil, Fox. I mean, look what he's done to my family with all of his sick secrets. Yeah, well, if he had it his way, you know, you'd be pregnant with Chad's baby right now. You know, I tell you something, I'm not going to take this lying down. Look, uh, <clears throat> I know we had plans tonight, and uh, but I, I, I got to run an errand. So um, I'm going to do that, and then, and then I'm going to go to the, the mansion and get the rest of my stuff. That's absolutely cool, because that works for me, too, because I have something that I have to do. Really? And I'll meet you back at the mansion, and I'll help you pack your stuff. Okay, well, it's perfect. See you later. OK. Had a grandfather. This whole thing ends tonight. 
I'm pregnant with my half-brother's baby because of that evil old man. Yeah, Alistair Crane's gonna have to pay. Oh, just a little lower on the left there. Fine. Mr. Crane, out of your whole collection, why did you choose that painting for your living room? It's creepy. You'll see, my dear. I commissioned that after my wife died. That's why the veil covers the mother's face, to symbolize her separation from her child. But come, let me introduce you to the pleasures of Scottish salmon, direct from the Queen's estates at Balmoral. <laughs> my little treasure. Turn on the bowl and then beam it to the boob tube. Hmm? It's prime time in harmony. <laughs> we really should get a remote for this thing. Oh, look. And Dora, a murderous lot if ever I've seen one. <laughs> Here comes the rest of the pack. <laughs> oh, my darling. I just realized this is your very first murder. Remind me to write it all down in your baby book. Now, Endora, listen carefully. This is how the family business works. We sow a little pain, a little heartache, and a lot of guilt. And then one fine day, our evil seeds burst into flower. <laughs> Just look, one of these solid citizens is about to pay your grandfather back for his deliciously evil ways. <laughs> oh, the mystery begins. What a surprise for Alistair. Add a little of what's in that bottle to Alistair's favourite cocktail. And what do we have? Hmm? A recipe for murder. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Oh, I'll get the door. No, I'll come with you. I want each of my guests to feel the warmth of my greeting when they arrive. Perhaps it was little Ethan playing tricks. Poor father. It's fresh hell. What have you planned for this evening? Julia, my boy. Welcome to the festivities. I didn't know you were home. Yes, I took a turn around the grounds. Ah. <clears throat> Darling, I, I didn't hear you drive up. I parked down the drive. The lovely Dr. Russell. Welcome. Come in. Make yourself at home. Ah, <laughs> I forgot. You already have. This is my home, father. And Eve will soon be my wife. Welcome, Luis. How nice of you to come. What the hell is this all about, Crane? Patience, my boy, patience. Ah, uh, there's free food and drink in the other room. A shirker like you should appreciate that. Go to hell. Not now, Louise. Where's my sister? She took my mother down to the cottage to lend her a shawl. Well, Sheridan, don't you look lovely, darling? Where's my mom? She, uh, 
Forgot a purse and, and went back to the car. Oh, here she is. Welcome. You must be so thrilled to have your husband back home. You shut your damn mouth. Déjalo, Luis. We'll find out soon enough what he has to say to us, and then we can just leave this party. Thank you. Um, thank you for the invitation, Mr. Crane. But of course, dear. You look positively delectable. Oh, Tina, would you, uh, show everyone in, please? Of course. Everyone, come with me. Help yourself to the buffet. I don't remember that painting being here before. There's something so compelling about it. Not here for the art. Why would my father put that up here tonight? Who cares, Sheridan? He has thousands of paintings. No. My father never does anything without a reason. Ah, Mrs. Wheeler, the guest of honor. What a lovely frock. Whatever your plans, Alistair, I have my own. I will stop you. If at first you don't succeed? Stay away from my wife, you bastard. Your wife? Since when have you two had benefit of clergy? Oh, if you meant Pilar, she's in the other room. Leave Sheridan alone. And Luis, if you try to hurt those two, please, I swear. Please, Martin, no empty threats, please. I don't make empty threats. Come now. This is a party. You're my guest. Come, raise a glass. Yourself, my dear. Enjoy yourself while you can. How can I enjoy myself when you're about to destroy our daughter's life? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my humble home. Tonight will be a night none of you will forget. Ever. Send her to the big house for murder. All her secrets are gonna come out. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. I know there's a bright side to this. She could get the electric chair. But hey, hey, <laughs> little Marty could be with his real family, you know, with his real mommy, Sheridan. <gasps> oh, and then all of that secrets and lies are buried, buried for. Ever. And then Louise and Sheridan and Marty get to be a family again. <laughs> oh, get over yourself there, precious. I know you got the hots for Louise. Who doesn't, honey? Just get over it, okay? <laughs> Even that old woman hopes Alistair Crane will die. Oh, darling. Wait until the world finds out who poisoned Alistair Crane. <laughs> Quickly now, quickly, Andorra, switch channels. Switch channels for me. 
I'm thrilled that you all decided to accept my invitation. Get on with it. Won't you ever learn patience, Julian? God, Martin, he's going to do it. He's going to tell everyone I'm his wife and that I'm Sheridan's mother, and it's going to destroy Louise and Sheridan's relationship. So, let me tell you why I've asked you all here. Get your damn hands off of me. Cray, you have ruined my life. We found these people trespassing, sir. Should I call the police? DC, just calm down. What the hell are you doing? Calm Every, down. Everyone, please, just excuse him. He's just been drinking. So I see. Damn you, you bastard. You played us all like puppets. You wrecked our lives. You see, you're not helping. What's all the noise? Daddy. Daddy, what did you do? DC, please. Just ah! calm down. I want to see you dead. All right, DC, just stop it, all right? They're going to arrest you. Why don't you just sit down? Come on. Come on. Let him go. He's no threat to me. Thank you. I don't recall inviting the hoi polloi. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I needed an invitation to come to my own home. Me either. I'm your grandson, remember? What I had to say affects you all, so you might as well stay. As a matter of fact, why doesn't everyone join me for a drink? <sighs> <clears throat> no one? Oh, please, now don't make me drink alone. No one wants to drink with you. Just cut to the chase. Why are we all here? After I savor a bit of my drink, I'll tell you all my secret. Although some of you may have your suspicions as to why I required your presence. Stop teasing us like this, Father. What do you want? Hmm. Remy Martin, Louis XIII, bottled in 1914. Oh, yes, one sip of this heavenly elixir to die for. Gwen, or will you choose to be with Teresa, your baby? The killer is... Yes. <laughs> Every so often, a new show comes along that tugs at the heartstrings of everyone who sees it. Oh, the brother's in a chair, man. Committed is not that show. It's a new romantic comedy. If you have baggage, I want to know about it. If? With a dying clown living in the closet. Are you gonna hold that thing all day or are you gonna let Papa have a taste? Committed. NBC Tuesdays this January.